Alrighty guys, welcome back to Let's Play Alundrith. This is episode 20, and as always, I am your host, Commander Coldbird, back with you live from the Cave of Magiscar. As I mentioned before in another Let's Play, this is actually my least favorite dungeon in the whole game, next to Meltis' Palace. Uh, as I mentioned last video, we cannot get here until we have gotten the Fire Rod. Uh, as I have not mastered the method of using these torches up here to burn down the bushes. And as you can see from last video, these little stupid spawny thingies do not come back if you leave the room, which is so beautiful. I hate those things. They can burn in hell. Well, actually, technically, we are in hell. Um, so, there's that. Anyway, guys, we are continuing our quest through this dreaded dungeon, and let's see what we got here. Alrighty, back in here, come over here, we just did that last video, and now we're in here, oh boy. So, the, this is one of the worst rooms, because if you la want land under one of these water droplets, that happens. So do not do that, because you only have a couple torches in this room. Also, do not run into the thorny bushes just like I did right there. Um, also, guys, I am being joined today by uh, Derpy Doodles uh, from her channel. Hey, Say guys. So, yeah, she's here with me right now. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Check me out, fam. Yeah, go check out her channel. She's got some really great drawing videos. She actually is the one that uh, made my mascot, which she still has not given to me yet. Oh, wait. I haven't given it to you? No, you have not given it to me. Well, that's why they call me Derpy Doodles, because I'm a derp. You are a derp. I work with you. I know you are a derp. <laughs> Yay, we got another herbs. Now we... Oh, we have eight. We have eight herbs. Oh, look. Oh, that's what that key is for. Okay. Well, if I would just draw your mascot for you and then never give it to you. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm going to abscond her with your mascot, too. Yeah. I, I, I will put this on my channel later. Okay, guys, so in this room, just like in the Coastal Cave and Giles' Nightmare, we have a room full of weed. Two <laughs> weed. Yes, weed. That's what I call the medicinal medicinal herbs is medical marijuana in this game. Like, really, what else is it? Like, I mean, look, look at the shape of those herbs, child. Does that not look like a plant? I mean, it is a plant. You know what I mean. Stop getting technical with you me. Mean the devil's grass. Yes, the devil's grass. The devil's grass. <laughs> I don't want to see you smoking no devil's grass in here, boy. Oh yeah, Derp oh yeah, Derpy. Since you weren't here for me last with me last video, those are the little spawny creature thingies I was talking about. But they spawned these guys. I call them um, oogie boogie knockoffs. And oogie this boogie. yes, they are oogie boogie knockoffs because uh, the game uh, manual actually calls them bug bags. And what is oogie boogie but a giant bag of bugs? Which is disgusting when you finally realize this. You know, that show, that movie is actually very good. Love that movie. Check it out. Yeah, well, I only know Oogie Boogie from Kingdom Hearts, so there's that. you never seen The Nightmare Before Christmas? I've never seen Nightmare Before Christmas. I've actually never seen any Tim Burton film, for that matter. Edward Scissorhands? Nope. Not even Sweeney Todd. Bruh. I know. We just need to... We just need to hang out and watch a bunch of movies. Right. Alright guys, I'm going to pause this video here because this is one of the worst rooms in the dungeon because the goal here is to use these tur freaking turtles to burn down these freaking thorn bushes and get to that switch so we can get out of this room. Which is easier said than freaking done! I was about to be like, watch that turtle just burn down those bushes. Oh yeah, look. That's exactly what he did. Making my point moot! When you complain about something, it doesn't work, apparently. Yeah, well, right before you texted me, I made that same complaint, and, like, I actually had, I actually, it actually took, like, ten minutes 
just to get out of this room. Oh, wow. Yeah. Why is this little Charmander so, being so difficult? Well, actually, he's more of a Bowser than a Charmander. Yeah, well, this isn't a Charmander. It's a it's a fire breathing turtle. That's what Bowser is. I mean, technically speaking, this is why you're a derp. You you know nothing about video game uh, references and knowledge. I hate plug bags. Oh well, use a strength tonic. Go back to my bombs. And... Ah! Did you just squeak? Yes. I do that a lot in this Let's Play. Like, you should see my... Like, okay, catch up on my Let's Play and watch the Des Desert video. Um, I... I... I do a bunch of... Ah! And... in that video. Well, as I'm going through the desert. You should you should catch up on that. It is hilarious. Yeah, because I'm in like episode five. Yeah, the desert is like episode nine ish, and this is episode twenty right here. <laughs> yeah, I'm way behind. Bam. Yeah. All right, guys. This ledge is a bit hard to jump across, so if I don't make it across the first time, I will pause it and see you on the other side. I'll see you on the other side. All righty, guys. We are back. I. Finally made it across the chasm, and in here we have another um, spawner thingy that drops a uh, oogie boogie ripoff. But that chest just contains a magic elixir. I can get one of those for 24 gilder at Lurby's shop. Not that big of a deal. Plus, there's another one elsewhere in the dungeon. Ah! I'm standing on a torch. How did I do that? Don't hit the water! I, I do that a lot. Especially last dungeon. Oh, the last dungeon was horrible. Alrighty, lift the switch. And don't grab the torch first. Or burn yourself when you try to get rid of it. Oh wait, it. And you grab the torch. Ah, uh, that's just a thirty gilder piece. No big deal. I think it's this one that I want. Nope. Not that one. Then this one. Yep. And warp portal. And now we can leave and restock up on restoratives. Or no, we can't. It's a weed. That's a thorn bush. That is a thorn bush, child. So. Yes, those are thorn bushes. All right, guys. I hate, hate this part of the dungeon. This is why this dungeon is my least favorite next to Meltas' shrine. First, we suck up on restoratives. Oh look, there's a magic elixir. I told you there was another one later on in the dungeon. That's a strength elixir. Or, no, is that a wonder essence? That's a wonder essence. That's the strength elixir. But I used a strength tonic, not an elixir. Because uh, you, can, you, you can only have one each of the Strength Tonic Elixir, Magic Elixir, and Wonder Essence. Mm. Yes, but you can have nine herbs. Alright, which one's the least annoying? I think it's this one. Pretty sure it's this one. Yeah, it's this one. Really easy, just avoid the crickets trying to sell us their cell phone service. Which we've been trying to tell them all dungeon. We're happily involved with Metro PCS. We don't want their cell phone service. Ah! And Cricket Wireless wins. This is the most I've seen or heard you squeak. It's adorable. 
Well, you can shut up, you know. How come you don't squeak for me at work? Well, you never asked me to squeak for you at work. Hmm. Oh, that guy didn't bother you today. I noticed. I noticed he was in there because I went over to Sheets for some breakfast and uh, I saw him sitting in the lobby and and he was just sitting there. He looks like he had a grouch look on his face. I know. He was staring a hole in my head. <laughs> I had a day today. I don't drink, but I want something to drink. You know right. I, mean? I feel you. That's me every day. Like, like hmm. I, actually sometimes after work I'll just go over to Sup Dogs and actually get, uh, get a Sup Swirl. Uh, after work. I mean, you are kind of old enough to drink, though. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that little part. Alright. <laughs> Technically not old enough yet. That's true. I forgot about that part. Technically. Technically. <laughs> nudge, nudge. <laughs> oh, shoot. You bad little girl. And let me guess, he's your supplier. Eh. Alrighty. That's the easiest one, people. The easiest one. What does that tell you about the rest? What does that tell you about the rest? Oh, oh, oh why did I have to do this one next? Okay, the goal here is... Not to do that! Alright, the goal here is to take that torch down there, use it to burn those bushes, jump down, Use that torch right there to burn some more bushes, and then use that torch to burn more bushes, flip a switch, and the, and light the lampstands. I will be right back while I do this. This pisses me Alright, people. We finally got this puzzle cleared. And now we read what's on here. The light of salvation rises from the east, or free from darkness, those waiting in expectation. That gives us a clue as to how to flip the levers. So the one on the top left gets flipped to the left. All right. So that was actually one of the more difficult ones. This one actually is easy if you know what you're doing. At least I think it's this one. Yes, it is this one. All right. Do that. And then that. And then that. And then that. Easy. If you know what, if you know how to do that before the water starts falling. The finger of accusation points to the left. Oh, east is to the right. I was thinking of weast. Again. Weast. Weast. <laughs> east. I thought, I thought you, you said weast. I made that joke last video. Or video before that. Oh, I love SpongeBob. I don't. I, I hate this one. I hate it more than the other one. Because this one has caused me so many rage quits. Alright. Simple concept. You take these torches across the platforms to these torches. Not a big deal. Unless you consider the fact that there's freaking water everywhere. Alrighty. Got two... This one on the top left gets me every single time. Are you trying to figure out my phone password? No. I don't care. Oh. I'm on the crew web. Oh. Alright guys, I will see you once I have got this puzzle done. Finally guys, after an undisclosed number of attempts, I finally got this blasted room. The eyes of the pious one gaze upwards in reverence. Um... I think the bottom right one said something about the, the humble one gazing down or something. Um, I forgot to read that pla placard, but I know that one is the lever facing down. Uh, what's my time at right now? 1421. So I will not have enough time for the boss fight in this, in this video, but let's do a couple more things here. Uh, okay, guys, we actually do have to read the inscriptions of the placards in order to activate the levers. Would have been good to know. Uh, I actually have never had a, le had a, had a done a playthrough where I never read the placards. 
uh, before. So that is an interesting uh, finding out. I'll be right back, y'all. Alrighty, guys, we got that puzzle solved, and it says the modest one gazes downward in the face of evil. Um, except I, I prefer to look my evil dead in the eye. Looking at you, Melsus. Sunny boy. Alrighty. Uh, so, since we won't be able to get to the boss fight, uh, this video, uh, I will introduce next video, you, I will introduce you guys next video to wh who I refer to as Wiggler's Emo Cousin. Yes, that is an actual name that I've come up with. Hey, no! You remember me? Why did you know that? Alrighty. And we So she does have a heart. A little bit. Not much of one though. Pretty callous if you ask me. Can be sometimes. What do you mean sometimes? No, these messages I'm reading from you and Miss Miss is really sweet. Oh, uh, during what time period? Uh let's see. December 19th. December 19th. What was going on December 19th? They were getting ready for the big wig. Ah, uh, yes. And she was like, I can tell with my log if you're not there. Ah, uh, I, 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 I screenshotted those messages for you if you recall. I forget. I'm a dory. I, I know you're a dory. You take after Sam. Ho hopefully me... Which, by the way, y'all, hopefully me and TFPB will be able to do a collab video uh, one day. What are we at now? 16.52. So we only got a little bit of time left. Hopefully we can get to this next room. Uh, maybe unlock the door right before the boss chamber. Um, but if not, then I hope you guys had fun this video with me and Derpy Doodles interacting with each other. So, actually, you know what? I should do that a little bit more often, to be honest with you. Have people over, have some witty conversation. Oh, yay, this is the room before the boss room. Well, the room before the room with the boss room. Okay, the room before the room, before the boss room. If that makes any sense. Probably doesn't. Well, not quite what I had planned. But still works. I think so too. Go home. Sorry, y'all. Uh, pizza came, and I had to pay my driver. Ah! No! I'm dying. Alright, guys, but our time here is coming to a close because we are almost at 18 minutes. But I can at least show you guys uh, the almost final room of the dungeon. The final room being the actual boss uh, fight room. Um, this will actually be the final room where uh, Cricket Wireless tries to sell us their cell phone service. Uh, and they are very quite persistent. Like Jehovah's Witnesses? Like Jehovah's Witnesses. Like Keisha and Giles trying to convert mm -hmm. us to the gods. Mm, yeah. You, did, do you remember? Did, I remember that. Episode. Yes. Yeah, they're Jehovah's Witnesses, and like they, like they actually came to the village together in a pair, and it was like, we have come to tell you guys about the gods, and and it's like that is so Jehovah's Witnessy to do. All right, guys, we have finally thwarted Cricket Wireless and trying to uh, sell us their cell phone service. We burn these bushes, and if we jump down, we fight the boss. But we're not gonna do that. So for today, our mission is accomplished. And if you like this video, be sure to let me know by smashing that like button down below. And let me know your thoughts on this video by posting a comment in the comment section. And as always, guys, it has been a pleasure uh, recording for y'all. And until next time, when duty calls us again, this is Commander Coldford signing off.